Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is the Mastro Labacus. Mastro Labacus was suggested by Jarek McComb and he uh, was thinking about the classic Astrolabacus puzzle and he said, well, would it be possible to have more beats in more grooves? So the answer is yes, that's why this is the Mastro Labacus um, and what you can see is that the beats roll nicely through the grooves. So here we have the red beads, we have green beads, uh, orange ones, here we have the blue ones, and all the way in the middle, very hard to see, we have pink ones. So the way this puzzle is uh, scrambled, it's by turning um, everything in a sort of weird way, like this. This is the, called the Astrolabacus move, and this is after one turn or two turns and when it's turned then you can scramble it, uh, here we go, we scramble some of the sides, you see uh, this, this inner one we can't scramble because uh, things are blocked, I'll get to you uh, about that later, um, this one is also turned a bit, now let's uh, continue uh, scrambling and let's turn a bit, let's turn the inner one And now let's do yet another Astrolabacus move and you see very quickly everything uh, is uh, scrambled. So usually I ask my question at the end of the video but not uh, this time, I'll ask you the question first and then I'll continue uh, uh, showing things. So what you notice when I've scrambled it is that the pattern stays symmetrical, this blue bead and this blue bead is the same, green, green, three red, three red, an orange one, an orange one, you see also in the middle we have this same pattern that everything is symmetrical. So the question to you is, why is it symmetrical? So as promised uh, there is uh, more to show, so I'm going to take apart this puzzle a bit and let you see what's at the inside. So uh, let's take uh, one of the screws, mm, this one, and I'm going to take it apart just to make sure that uh, the beads don't fall out. I'll do it carefully in front of a cup. And there we are. So the beads uh, start falling out and the thing that I wanted to show you is the cross section. What you see is that the cross section has an asymmetry. There are five grooves, but you see the distance between these two grooves is smaller than the others. This was necessary to make everything uh, fit and to make sure that in the solved position all the uh, grooves were continuous. And actually since it's uh, asymmetrical, this puzzle has the very interesting property that it jumbles. And of course I can ask you what jumbling means, but I assume you will look that up on the internet. Thank you for watching.